If you love the movie The Great Escape, then you will love the book The Great Escape. I know many of us have said, Hollywood ruined the book. They didn't follow the story. But this is one time where Hollywood did not take very many creative licenses and they stayed very true to the story. For those of you who know, the movie The Great Escape includes some great Hollywood actors like Steve McQueen, James Gardner, and Bronson. There are a few times that Hollywood did take some minor liberties with the movie The Great Escape. You know, in the movie, there are three Americans who play a pretty predominant role in The Great Escape. And that's obvious because this is an American movie and, you know, Americans want to see Americans in it. But in the book, this was predominantly a British endeavor. At the very beginning, there were a lot of Americans and British in the camp. But in the movie, you saw these three Americans make an adult beverage out of potatoes to celebrate the 4th of July. Well, when the Americans made their adult beverage out of potatoes, the Germans decided that the English and the Americans were getting a little too close. And as such, they separated them. Thus, when the Great Escape actually occurred, there were no Americans in the Great Escape. Another minor area of deviation occurs when James Gardner's character tries to escape via a plane. Well, that story is in the book, but it is not a part of the Great Escape. It is actually the pre-story of one of the characters who tried to escape in a plane, got recaptured, and brought to Stalag Three for the setting up of the Great Escape. Now, as I say, if you love the movie, you're going to love the book. And you actually are probably going to love the book even more than you do the movie. And here's the reason why. In reading the book, you get to read the rest of the story. What happened after the war and after the Great Escape? We all know who've watched the movie that many of the individuals who participated in the Great Escape were killed. But what happened? And in reading the book, you get to learn about the detective from Scotland Yard who went around Germany after World War II and prosecuted those individuals of war crimes who killed British prisoners of war who tried to escape. You see, Geneva Convention did not allow the shooting of escaped prisoners. And Germany was a signer of that convention. And as such, the, when the Germans shot the POWs, they committed war crimes. And so, while you did not get to see that in the movie The Great Escape, when you read the book, you get to hear the rest of the story. As you can see, I really enjoyed the movie, The Great Escape. And I love the book even more. And that's why I encourage you to go read the book or listen to it on Audible. And of course, when you're done with that, go back and watch the movie 